a few weeks ago I contacted a company called Silver Ant Outdoors and they make titanium pots, mugs, etc. That's their thing there. Big on titanium. And I said to them, I like the look of your kit. Would you like to send me some of it? I also said that my viewers like to be titillated by titanium. So I think that must have sealed the deal. So they kindly sent me a pot and pan set. Here's the frying pan, 450ml. To go with that, there's a 900ml pot. And they also sent me the 400ml double walled titanium cup that I asked for. Chap I spoke to at Silver Ant Outdoors, a chap called Steve. When I say spoke, we communicated by email. And I said that I would give a completely honest review of their kit. Because I don't want to be... What's the word? I don't want to give any false impressions to anybody. Oh, let's top that up. I've seen a lot of people, I guess they call them influencers, and they get kits, and what they do, they say, oh, this is like the greatest thing in the world, and they'd sell their own mothers and children, pets, for a bit of free kit, and maybe a bit of cash on the side. I'm not like that. I, I'm not getting any money for this. This is just kit that was sent to me. And Silver Ant, they didn't even ask me to do a review. They didn't even ask me to do a video on it. They just said, here you go, help yourself, see what you want. So that was all the more reason why I decided to do a little video on this. Now, I'm not new to titanium. I've got a few bits of titanium kit. And I must say, the quality of this is exceptional everything's welded well it's riveted no sharp edges and it's very thick i've got a really well known make i've got loads of their titanium pans excuse me and the titanium is very thin this is super thick and this is the sort of kit that's going to last a long, long time. Now, obviously, with titanium, I'm going to throw some bacon now. Oh, I found this in Sainsbury's, made without nitrates. And I thought, oh, that looks nice. Why to put high in protein? I don't know. There's so much marketing nonsense that you see. But I like the made without nitrates. And pork, water, water, mm. salt, natural flavourings, smoke flavouring. That's not bad, is it? The thing about cooking on titanium, so I rip this open. It, that didn't work very well. Let's try a knife. The thing about cooking on titanium is to cook low and slow so you don't want too much heat because all it does is burn on the bottom of the pan so we go low and slow hopefully you won't stick too much you have to excuse me snivelling a bit i've had a bit of a cold the other good thing about this set with the pot and the pan, you get a beautiful lid to go with it. It fits on both, fits beautifully. You've got a little ring thing there to, it flips up, holds it all together. You can't ask any more than that really. How's my coffee doing? Let's 
top him up with a bit more hot water. Oh, I just spilt down my leg on my like. It's a really generous size. A splash of milk. And sugar. So how hot does this keep this coffee? Oh, that's lovely. We're going to find out. When I said I found some bacon, it's got no nitrates in it. I thought oh, that's wonderful. And then I had to get some of these soft gluten-free rolls. They've got a list of ingredients there. As long as you're armed with things that shouldn't go together, but they are together pea protein, fruit extract, carob and apple, yeah, I'm sure they'll be nice and resemble what they're supposed to be. Something smells nice, oh, oh, oh we get in there, see we go low and slow, we've got a little bit of moisture coming out of there, nothing's burnt on the bottom, well ish, there's a little bit there. He's cooked now. We just let that fry through a little bit to get some of the fats out, and get rid of some of the water. Oh, sorry, I was snivelling again. This is really not ideal conditions to do this. Let's get that on there. Bit of ketchup. I hope I don't make too much of a mess on myself. And we go again. This is actually quite nice bacon. It's quite thick. I think the first time, oh gosh, all over the place. I was I like, I think the first time that I really tried cooking with lightweight pans, I had some lightweight aluminium ones. Um, what I did, I had a pocket rocket at the time. Anybody who's ever had a pocket rocket, you'll know that you turn that on and it's like a jet engine going off. And I burnt a black hole right in the centre. So over time, I've kind of got used to understanding titanium, aluminium, and I go a lot more gentler. And it all seems to work. I've also got the bonus here today. I've got the firebox gas stove with the diffuser plate on it. And that works beautifully well. It just spreads that flame out. What do you think? I've not had a bacon roll for ages. I try not to get the catch up down me when I bite into it. Mm. Superb. How are we doing with the second one? Oh, 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 oh. It's going well, isn't it? I'm enjoying this. Make a right pig of myself today. Oh, I'm even going to treat myself with a little bit of juice. Soak it all up. At some point, this is going to get messy, isn't it? Let's go for one more. Just as well, I'm only going for one more. There was only six slices in there. Titanium has got a very bad kind of reputation as a poor heat conductor. But what I'm trying to prove is that if you treat it right, then it shouldn't give you too much in the way of problems. 
I really do feel like a lucky boy today. I've got a bit of peace and quiet. I got a lovely bacon roll. And I got a hot cup of coffee. Another reason I contacted Silver Ant was because I've seen a couple of other YouTubers and they've been sent stuff by them. And I thought the other couple of YouTubers I saw was quite disingenuous. They didn't really understand about titanium, how it works or anything. They just kind of unboxed it. And I didn't think that was right. Because my way of thinking, if you get sent anything, why don't you just use it properly and tell people what you really think? Rather than just go, oh, I've unboxed it now. What are you going to do, sell it on eBay or something? I don't know. I'm not like that. If you're wondering what this is, and you've not seen one before, this is a titanium honey stove. And I found this to be absolutely excellent. So I use it time and time again. I go back to it time and time again because it works. The same with the firebox. The, the firebox, gas burner. The same with this leader tray. I go back to them time and time again because they work. They do what they're supposed to do. And I think this is going to be a new favourite. This is not going to be any different. If I want to go a bit lighter, I've got a beautiful titanium pot and pan set. Weighs next to nothing. And a titanium mug. How are we doing? I'm hoping this is in shot. I'm not saying to you, rush out and buy silver and titanium. All I'm saying to you is, if you think that it's an option that will work for you, then check them out. I'll leave a link for the company in the description. I must say, although the mug is double walled, the coffee cooled down quite quickly. Now, part of that might be to do with we're at the end of November pretty much, and it's about five or six Celsius today. And I'm sat on the seafront, and there's a cold wind blowing along as well so I'm sure that's influenced it a bit having said that this kit has been an absolute pleasure to use and having thicker titanium I don't know how much of an advantage that is. No burning. Low and slow is the way forward. I'll wash that out properly when I get home. I have a question for you and you might be able to help me out in the comments. Did you like this uh, review type video? And if so, would you like to see more of them? Because if you do, then maybe I'll reach out to some other manufacturers and see what happens. You get a lovely bag with this as well. Very well proportioned. Just thought I'd throw that one out there. I'm starting to outstay me welcome now. I can feel it's just about to start the rain. I did quite well up to now. 
it's just started pouring with rain but at least I got my video in thanks for coming along on this one I really appreciate your company and I'll see you next time that's providing I don't get hypothermia <laughs> <laughs> you, you do wonder sometimes I come out and I, say, I actually enjoy the elements I enjoy getting wet I enjoy carrying around a backpack I quite enjoy camping sleeping out, cooking outside obviously but I, I do wonder it's like have I lost the plot? Have I got a grip on reality? I don't know. <laughs> this is cold, miserable, but I'm, I'm really enjoying myself. There must be something wrong with me. Thank you very much for coming along and listening to my ramblings. I really appreciate your company. I'll see you next time. If I get out. Anything that might deny me Yeah, I'm always gonna dream